Hey guys, it's Richard from Grafting Dragon Fruits, and today I'm going to be talking about pH levels in your soil and what's the appropriate pH level for your dragon fruit soil. So here I have in my hand is a soil meter. This helps me test the levels of pH and moisture in my soil. And it has a little gauge here that tells you all the numbers of how dry and how wet it is and what's the acidic and what's the alkaline of the pH. So I've been noticing that my Vietnam white has been acting a little weird. I've been trying to help it bounce back um, from all the yellow and it's been getting extra sunburns. It does get a little bit more sunlight than the rest but so does the Laverne Red and it doesn't look as bad. So it got me curious to see what was the root problem of everything. So that's when I started to bust out my soil meter to see what was really going on. And here we go. We're going to go ahead and test the soil and see what it says. So I'm going to notch this all the way to the pH level. I'm just gonna put it into my soil like this. I'm gonna go straight down, all the way down. And then now we're just gonna wait for a reading. So ideal pH level for dragon fruit is 6.5 to 7. That is the pH that they thrive the best in and can absorb all the nutrients from their roots. Once it gets too acidic, it starts to lock out and it can't absorb certain nutrients. Like if it's too acidic, you won't be um, absorbing iron or magnesium and those are the things that helps them stay green. So that kind of tells me, oh, that's why you're turning yellow. So here we go, we're waiting for our reading. And already so far, it's not in the ideal range that we want, which is 6.5 to 7. And 6.5 to 7 would be right in the middle of that right there. And it's kind of below that. So the soil for this is 5.5. That tells me that it is not in the ideal conditions and I need to increase the alkaline in that. It's a little bit too acidic. So that's probably why the Vietnam white is starting to look the way it is. So I need to do my part and go find something to help boost that base. So check it out, you guys. My Vietnam white is just starting to get really, really damaged from that soil. Um, I've done everything I can by adding compost tea, adding magnesium and iron, but it's still looking that way. Here is my liver in red. It's doing very well. And here's my American Beauty. So I'm gonna go down here just to let you guys see the difference in soil from the guys that are doing very well. Here's my Ecuador Polar Seeding Graph. Here is my soil meter. Let's go ahead and test that out. So again, you guys, you guys just take it in, stick it all the way down, and you wait for your pH level to read. Let's see what this one says. So 7.0, that is perfect. So that already tells me that my soil over there is ready to exitic and the soils over here are in the ideal condition. That is what you want, you guys, 6.5 to 7.0. And on this reading here, it said 7.0. That is perfect. That is what I want. So I have some work to do. I thought I'd share that with you guys. And if you guys are looking for a soil meter, I'll leave this one into my description and you guys can check it out on Amazon to purchase it if you guys need. So that's a little bit about pH for dragon fruit soil. And just look how green and lush these ones are. There's no yellow going on. So there is some work to be done for the Vietnam white. Let's check the red Laverne and see what we see there. Okay, here we go, guys. Got my soil meter. We're gonna stick it straight down. Let's see what it says. So this is a really cool tool you guys if you guys ever wondering what's your ph level this is great and if you are wondering if you're watering up this also tells you the moisture if it's dry or too wet you can always test it again i'll leave this in my description if you guys are interested in picking one of these up it helps you tell you how much water to water and of course most importantly what is the ph in your soil so this is 7.0. So the red laverne is also 7.0, which is very ideal for dragon fruits. And that's probably why it's doing so much better than the Vietnam white. So if you guys check that out, look at my laverne red. It's thriving, the yellow's there, but not too much. 
and the buds are still continuously growing. So Vietnam whites, I'm going to be going to the store today to look for some mediums to help increase the pH in my soil naturally. And then hopefully within some time, it helps my Vietnam white bounce back. And we still have plenty of buds and fruits in there. I just had a bunch of flowers going on with the Townsend pink over there. So that's a little bit about pH. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, go ahead and hit the like button. If you guys have any questions about pH levels in your dragon fruit soil, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. And if you guys wanna see more grafting and dragon fruit videos of mine, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so that way you guys won't miss a single thing. Have a wonderful day now. Bye guys.